what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? A battle rapper named Giorgio Casper is being dragged all over social media and beyond for his despicable use of words. I'm talking about family, totally disrespectful. This wasn't a rap competition. This was murder words. Now listen, I come from a battle rap background and I've had my share of boxing matches on the stage, but never because of saying something that disrespectful or somebody saying something that disrespectful to me. The dude told the guy that he was battling against that his daughter, because she's dark skinned, would have a tougher time in life than his light skinned daughter and that his baby mama, because she's dark, she's gonna have a tougher time in life than his light-skinned baby mama. Also told the battle rapper that because he's dark-skinned, he's gonna have a tougher time in life. Dude, straight up on some self-hate shit. Colorism, oh man, this dude, he got it bad, man. He got it bad. Don't tell me nothing about preference. This is self-hate, fam. Then he talked about the little girl was going to be caught all kinds of names, B's and H's and sluts, everything. Just called the girl all kinds of names. The girl is supposed to be six years old. Called her all kinds of names. Said she was going to be out there turning tricks and that he talked about raping the girl. So he's talking about colorism and pedophilia, which is something that needs to be addressed. And people around him are cool with that. I heard a number of dudes that were at the contest, at the battle, just laughing it up. Grown ass black men just laughing it up. The funny thing about it was that most of them were dark. Why is it so often that it's dark skinned black males who have the worst problems with colorism? They are habitual offenders of colorism. Why? How could you hate yourself that much? Ain't you heard black is beautiful? I swear to God, man, I, man, let me show y'all something. Look at this shit. Look at this. Look at this gut. Look at this damn skin. Look at that. Look at that color. Look at that. She. Man. They got, I ain't trading this shit in. You crazy? Trade it in? Hell no. This dark hue means something. This protects me from the brutality of the sun and all kinds of germs and diseases. My body is fortified. This melanin helps me tremendously. And you already know black don't crack unless you don't crack. Man, y'all got me messed all up with this black, this, 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 this dark skin thing got me messed all up. Now I can see somebody, you know, just liking a variety or whatever, but to talk about like, like looking at black and thinking something wrong with dark skin, like it's something wrong with that. It's something wrong with you. It's really something wrong with a person that thinks that, that way. And this dude, he, he got a bigger problem. This motherfucker is a pedophile. He talked too much like a pedophile. He sound just like a pedophile. I would watch him. Anybody who got who has a child around him, they, they better pay very close attention. Because don't no man sit up, a grown-ass man, 
get out in public, especially talking about raping a six-year-old girl. How could you possibly be sitting there writing that shit and even conceive that? But then to even to verbalize it publicly, for him to even do it, it's almost like when a racist say something, like say for instance in their community or at school and they do something racist or say something racist, it's almost like they're doing it because they know it's going to be accepted in their immediate circle. So how many more people that hang with that dude who thinks like him, who are probably also rapist? Nah, oh, man. I wouldn't be cool with that dude in my community. Not at all. Nah, oh, man. And, and the dude who, who stood there and took it, you got to be a real coward to allow something like that to happen. He, he not only took it, he was laughing. I'll share the link. He was actually laughing about it. Totally despicable, man. I got rap. I understand battle rap. Typically, anything goes. But you shouldn't even have to say, all right, look, no calling my six-year-old daughter a B or H or talking about raping her and don't be saying nothing about how she gonna have a tough time because she dark skinned, but everything else goes. I really never thought I'd see the day that battle rapping came down to this and I love to see battle raps, but this, this wasn't battle rapping. This was a declaration of war. No more talk. What the haters talking about?